how many believe S&P will do as well the next 10 years as the last 10 years? Wow. We can go back, all right? Let's say past 10 years, that was what? Um, 2012, right? So 2012, right? I can share with you the, the economy was very, very bad. Huh? Um, we have 2009, that's when the global financial crisis hit. And then the problem is not like just within a single year, everything come up, right? So we actually started with the subprime crisis. And then we see the real estate uh, market drop and then stock market drop. All this happened in 2009. And then from 2010 until 2012, actually uh, US market has been like, struggling uh, in terms of the economy so and then we have the european uh, sovereign crisis not sovereign european crisis right so uh, greece all these like they they, they are like really essentially they're they already bankrupt right there's a lot of negotiation just to help greece and then we talk about like all these you know the, the peaks countries portugal italy all these are in deep problem so i mean globally speaking right until 2012 is really bad and then from 2012 onwards right uh there's there's significant improvement as compared to 2009 to 2012 so economy started to pick up and then you can see that uh the economy and also the corporate profitability doesn't all come out like even uniform basis actually most of the gains right in s p 500 is all come up from all the, the large uh, four or five big tech so and and those big tech right it's not just um the price multiple expansion um actually why they come up is two two things right one is their corporate profitability meaning that the revenue is going up a lot and then their profits going up even more because of the operating leverage right so you, you can just uh, read some old story, uh, old news right like for example apple was trading at very low uh, price multiple um and then iPhones, uh, those periods are still early, right? Uh, and people are not even sure that uh, Apple iPhones is able to compete with Android and so on. But all this become history already. And now you can see that their, their earnings are all very strong. Revenue also growing very strongly. Basically, um, they enjoy both from revenue growth, earnings growth, and price multiple expansion. And the general economy is also doing well. So all this happened in the past 10 years. So in order for the next 10 years to do as well, right, it's actually very, very tough because, uh, you know, you need to have a lot of all this pessimism built into the stock price and then and then you outperform that, then only you have that kind of returns, right? So so I, I do believe that over the next 10 years, uh, the return won't be as good as past 10 years. And somehow with all this uh, QE uh, interest rate also, uh, it's going to reverse soon, right? So I think these two argument is enough to tell you that it's unlikely to see a return that is better. So so that, that's my comment, uh, like comparing past and future. But I also want to say that actually you don't need like past 10 years kind of return to have a decent return, you know? Like even if over the next 10 years, let's say if it grows at, seven percent right seven percent is low, definitely lower than past 10 years i believe past 10 years is like something that's like more than 10 percent for s&p 500 right so let's say if you just grow at seven percent you still double your money you know the rule of 72 take 72 divided by seven percent right you you double your money in 10 years so let's say if your portfolio is let's say 100k now right uh s&p 500 doing okay-ish less than past 10 years but you double your money so is it important that it is it, it will do as well as past, past 10 years it's not right you, you just need to stay invested and you will have a, a decent outcome right yeah so uh, i would say uh, even with all the the pessimistic statement that i just made right like like don't don't, don't expect it go up as much right uh, but stay invested is still the way to go right?